All right, so I'm going to show how to disassemble a Dell Inspiron 14Z-5423. So first what you want to do is remove the little rubber covers from these. I use the needle. Just get the needle on the side and pull them up. So there's three on the top here. There's one here to remove this cover for the RAM. And then there's four at the bottom here. So remove all of those. Once you remove those, you can pry up this lid. This screw will stay in place. Um, but you can remove this. Um, you just get your hand and pull on it. Don't be afraid to use a little force. And then just take this and remove it. <clears throat> There's a hidden screw under here. Um, the CD drive comes out once you remove that cover. So you just pull on it just like that. Um, if you can't pull this out well, you can use a needle to put in this hole. It'll eject the CD drive, and then you can pull it from the tray. Um, but yeah, you don't need to do that if it comes out easily. All right, set that aside. There's one screw here, remove that. Underneath this RAM slot, so what you wanna do is push these, these things to the side, just like that, and it'll pop up. Okay, set the RAM card aside. Um, there's one screw here that holds the keyboard in place, so you want to remove that screw as well. Okay. Once you do that, flip the computer over, open up the screen, and you want to remove the keyboard. Um, there's three little latches here, so you, what you want to do is get like a thin pry tool, and then kind of just push on it, and then lift it up. So again, put it, push on the, the little latch, and then lift it up. Same thing, push it, lift it up. Don't slide the thing all the way across because there's a cable underneath and you can damage the cable if you do that. So once you do that, just lift the keyboard up and then pull it back this way. All right, behind the keyboard, you can see this. Um, lift the little latch here up. Let's see, Use a nail or a plastic pry tool, just like that. And then you can pull the cable out, just like that. All these connectors are similar, so you want to do the same. Um, lift this latch, grab the little blue plastic part, and then just pull it back. All right. There's three other ones. There's one here. All right, same thing, grab the blue plastic, pull it out. Flip these latches, okay, just like that. Blue one, pull it out. All right. Then you got screws underneath here as well. You got one, one here, two, three, four. All right, so just make sure there's no screws showing under here, but there's those four. Once you do that, <coughs> you can lay the computer on its back. Use your nails or a plastic pry tool just to get between the layers here. And then pull this layer outwards. Okay, just like that. The CD drive slot will be a little bit tough to get to remove, but um, yeah, just go along the side, just like that. Okay. All right. Once you get those sides out, you can kind of lift this. The back might be stuck a little bit, but you can lift that so you can see it goes like at an angle like that. All right. And then the CD drive one, let me see if I can show you if I can remove this. But um, the way the latch works is it hooks over the top of this plastic. So you kind of want to pull the plastic downward while you're kind of pulling it out. Just like that. Okay. If you can't get it, you'll probably end up breaking that latch, but it's no big deal. It doesn't. It's not really needed to hold the computer together. But yeah, that's how you remove it. Okay. So do that. Then you just lift this up. It's still caught on one latch, but there you go. All right, once you do that, you'll see the battery. There's two, there'll be two screws down here. You remove those. And then once you remove those, you can hold on this piece, lift it up, and then pull it back, just like that, okay? Once you remove the battery, you can actually remove the hard drive. I use these, I just lift up the leg here and then kind of wiggle it like that, all right? So if you want to upgrade it to an SSD or anything, there's the hard drive. Replace this caddy onto the new one. Okay. And you can see there's the fan here. To replace the fan, it looks like you'd have to remove the whole motherboard. I'm not going to remove that, but 
Um, you can see there's like one screw here holding it and then you see the wireless antenna as I've shown it on a lot of other videos so if you're not sure how to remove that just watch my other videos okay I might make a video just showing specific things like how to remove the antenna or something but um that's the the antennas for the wireless card this is the wireless card then you got a SSD here small m dot um not m dot two this is a m SATA SSD you got the CMOS or the BIOS battery here. It connects underneath. You got the LCD cable. And then you see the DC jack is soldered in place. So if you break that, you'd have to know how to solder to replace it. You got the other ports are all part of the board. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So um, the screen, this is one of the more simple ones. You can actually pry the frame out and then replace it but if you do that make sure to remove the battery and and then reconnect the power button um, and press and hold it for a bit just to drain all the power out of it so if you want to see the power button is on the top of this piece so if you follow it it's actually just on the board connected directly to the board so this is the actual power button so you would press that to drain it okay and that's pretty much it. This little connector um, is a separate piece. So if you for some reason break this USB port, the audio jack, or the SD card, you can actually remove this cable just by grabbing this blue one and pulling it up. And then you can replace that board separately. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, thanks. Bye.